Hi guys, Mr. Pollock Biology here with what has got to be one of the most requested series of videos. It's DNA technology from Unit 5. In this first video we're going to look at producing DNA fragments. So our objectives are going to be understand why it's important to be able to produce these DNA fragments and then describe how we can use uh, how we can use two different enzymes to isolate DNA fragments and those enzymes are reverse transcriptase and restriction endonucleases. So, first of all, what is a DNA fragment? Well, it's basically tiny, tiny bits of DNA. And what's really useful about this technique is we can isolate those fragments and insert them into host cells to produce large amounts of desired proteins. So basically, we break out genes, we insert them into cells, and get those cells to become factories for producing the protein that that gene codes for. And the way we produce these fragments is we use enzymes. And there are two ways of doing this. You can convert RNA to DNA, or you can use different enzymes to cut DNA at specific base sequences. So the first of these is RNA to DNA, and this involves an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Now reverse transcriptase is produced by uh, retroviruses, um, whose entire genetic makeup is based around RNA, but they can synthesize DNA from that, which is quite crazy. Um, so here they are. Well, not really, but you know. Um, and the idea behind these guys is that they synthesize DNA from RNA. So let's have a look at how these guys work. So how do we make these reverse transcriptase enzymes work for us? Well, the first step is to find a cell that readily produces the protein that we want. So here's our cell, and there's some protein. The second stage is we find some R mRNA, messenger RNA, and we extract it. So here's a sequence of mRNA that codes for the, uh, the desired gene. Then we use reverse transcriptase to synthesize a complementary DNA strand from that mRNA. So here's our mRNA, and we use reverse transcriptase to produce a single strand of complementary DNA. So we can call this cDNA, and the C stands for complementary. In the fourth stage, we're going to use another enzyme, which is DNA polymerase, to add complementary nucleotides onto that cDNA template. There we go. So DNA polymerase this time doing the work. And this gives us a copy of our desired gene. And we can use that to, to synthesize lots of large amounts of proteins, but we'll look at that in a different video. So the other method is by using these things called restriction endonucleases. And these are produced by bacteria, and they cut DNA at very specific base sequences. And there are loads of these guys, loads of restriction endonucleases, that all cut at different base sequences, which gives us quite a lot of power to trim out specific parts of DNA. And depending on how they cut, they can either form blunt ends, or these things called sticky ends, and these will come in handy later on. So here... We're going to look at, here's a, a section of DNA, and we're going to look at what happens if the enzyme cuts in a straight line. So, first of all, like I said, the enzymes cut in very specific places, and they find something called a recognition sequence, which tells them where to cut. So it's a specific base sequence that they recognize. So if they cut in a straight line, like so, um, that's going to form these things called blunt ends, where there is you know, just a straight cut through both strands of the DNA, which is fair enough. But really, to be able to have power to piece these things back together later, we want sticky ends. And to do this, we need restriction endonucleases that make a staggered cut. So still we have a recognition sequence, but in this case, uh, we make a cut in two different places. And that forms these things called sticky ends. And those sticky ends are complementary to one another. So this means that if you cut the same, if you cut DNA with the same restriction endonuclease, you'll end up with the same sticky ends. So you can piece together um, different bits of DNA nice and easily. And we'll look at this in the next video. So to summarize, we can produce DNA fragments by synthesizing DNA from RNA using reverse transcriptase. We can use restriction endonucleases, which cut DNA at specific base sequences. And the production of sticky ends is useful for joining fragments together. 
I hope that's been useful, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.